Hello, this is uh, Jesus Serta at Brace Sales Texas showing how to recalibrate a Series 70 actuator on a V-Port control ball valve. Jesus, can you tell us what you are doing, please? Okay, first, what we do first, we connect the power supply. The power supply goes into our A and B terminal. Come here, connect it. Our second step is to connect our uh, signal input that goes right here. They're labeled. You have your negative and your positive. What kind of signal are you giving it? On this particular unit, we use 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Okay. Then we set our dip switches to the depending on what application we're going to operate this unit in. And we're going to use our 4020, follow the steps on 4020. So we are setting up the switches right here. Yes. To pretty much match what the O&M manual states as far as the field wiring is concerned and the lower table. It tells you exactly which switches to turn on and which switches to turn on. And those should be turned on and set up prior to shipment. Okay, next, I'm going to power the unit up. The valve is currently opening. Closing. It is currently closing. So right now we're going to look through the valve and see what it looks like through here and we can see that the valve is fully closed the ball is reflecting okay when our actuator reaches our closed position what we do we turn the hand wheel we give the hand wheel half a turn in the same direction And that's where we said our close mechanical stop. So from a close position, we give it half a turn? Yes, we go a half a turn past the close position. And then we set the mechanical switches? Mechanical travel stops, yes. The mechanical travel stops. So those are going to be approximately at about 95 degree travel. So your mechanical stops should never really our mechanical stops should never be at zero and 90 degrees. They should be um, like negative five to 95 degrees. And now we're gonna take the unit open. Once the mechanical switches are set, you should not touch them in the field unless you absolutely have to, correct? Correct. What are we doing right now? Jesus? We're taking the, our valve to the open position and we're going to follow the same steps as we did with the, when we're going close. So we're going to set the travel stop at about negative 5 degrees Correct. from open. We're going to go past, half, we're going to take the hand wheel, half mm -hmm. turn past the open position. 
That's what we said on mechanical. So even though you are controlling from zero to 90, the mechanical travel stops are only there as a precautionary measure at negative five and 95 degrees. So that is nothing that should be adjusted in the field. Adjustments to the sizing can be done with your cams rather than your mechanical travel stops to avoid any kind of motor effect. We are re-engaging our hand yes. wheel. Yes. Now after we follow these steps, then we press this button here is to, to calibrate the servo to read the range that we have given it. And what it's doing now is reading zero and 90 degrees positions we gave it. What happens if those zero and 90 degrees are off? How do we adjust them? We adjust them by adjusting the cams. Your green, it would be your open cam and your red is your closed cam. We lose this screen, this screw right here and we turn whichever cam needs to be adjusted. Okay, so we start off by loosening this little bolt right here and then we would adjust the cams accordingly to make sure that they perfectly match. And part of that process is going down and actually seeing the valve line up perfectly at 90 and zero degrees, correct? Correct. So as you can see, the cams are turning with the valve and we're calibrating. If you look through the valve right here, So now it is fully open at this point. So now what we do after it calibrates, we modulate the unit, make sure it works fine. So Jesus has just changed the input signal on the valve from 20 milliamps to 4 milliamps to get it to fully close. So now the valve is fully closed. An easier way of doing that would be on the full port end. One side of this valve has a V port, the other side of this valve has a full port that perfectly lines up with the seats. Okay, that's it. And we have just calibrated this actuator. Thank you and have a great day.